Life after the big chop can be full of joy, full of freedom, but also confusion as to how you're supposed to proceed through this whole growing out process. For me, it's been up and down. I have moments when I love my little fro and other moments when I'm kind of over it and waiting for my hair to grow. Yet and still, I wanted to share this wash and go routine that I've been doing And it's honestly been making me feel a bit better about this whole restart process when it comes to my hair. So I'm going to show you today how I've been styling my short curly fro after the big chop. So let's jump right in. I'm going in on this, I don't know, three, four day old hair that was styled and restyled and needs to be washed. So I'm actually using today two products from Heritage. This is the Length Check Shampoo and Conditioner Duo. Yes, they are biotin infused. Do I believe that the biotin in these products is going to miraculously make my hair grow? No, but I actually really enjoy these products. And look at the lather, like super smooth lather, very like milky, yet still giving you that lather you're looking for when you need lather, you know what I mean? And these products are more on the natural side. They don't have any phthalates or parabens or any of the stuff that you don't want in your clean products, beauty products. But yeah, so this shampoo gives a great lather. It's really soft and gentle on my hair. I actually use it on my daughter's hair too. Now I'm going in with the conditioner and this conditioner has a really great slip but it doesn't just sit on your hair. It definitely penetrates and really you can tell a difference after using this. My hair is always super silky soft after I use these together and I love them. So yeah, I've been using them regularly and love the way my hair feels afterwards. So now we're gonna style. I am using the Pattern Beauty Moisture Milk product. I think this just came out. And I usually steer clear from coconut oil products, like products that have coconut oil in them, before I cut all my hair off. But honestly, I really like this, surprisingly. Uh, so then I am using this Oribe Curl Jelly. I've had this for years, and I like that it gives me holds, and it does give you a cast but it's easily you know broken down by a bit of oil after it's all said and done I've noticed that my hair being this short I need something that has a bit more hold than what I used to use when my hair was longer when my hair was longer I needed more lightweight products so I tended to use more mousses or like very minimal gel but with my hair like this and because I need my curls to stay defined a bit longer I like to use a gel I still use mousses sometimes but I've been kind of going back and forth and actually I think I like when I use a gel more than when I use just mousse on my hair if I use mousse I tend to find that using a thicker curl cream or like leave-in gives me a similar result but I think it's just that weight that helps my hair actually hold this curl that I'm creating. This is a brush from Pattern, by the way. I think it's their detangling brush, but as you can see, I'm just twirling it around my hair to create my curls and clump them together. I find that this gives me the best look than just using my fingers and kind of going at it. But once I'm done with that, I am ready to diffuse and so I'm using my pattern blow dryer and diffuser attachment for about 15 to 20 minutes my hair is still really thick so it does take a minute for it to dry and then once it's dry I'm going to go in with this act and acre hair oil and the main ingredient in this hair oil is actually argan oil but I really like this brand. Their products are very clean and very scalp focused. And so I use this product a lot and their curl cream and curl refresher spray a lot too. But I didn't use it today, so I didn't have those products in here. But yeah, after I 
just scrunch my hair and loosen up those curls and break that cast, my results are super cute. So yeah, even though I may not always be happy with where my hair is lengthwise right now, I'm really encouraged by just embracing where I am in this season and practicing patience with my hair, patience with myself, and not having this whole thing about my hair not being what I want it to be right now because it's really okay it's actually a good thing a great thing because it's where God has me right now and where God has my hair right now <laughs> so I hope you enjoyed this video definitely check back in with me if you are interested in seeing more curly hair videos or videos about my beauty journey in general as a mom as a wife as a sister in Christ all those things because that's what's important to me and that's what this platform and this channel is all about thanks for watching and I'll see you in my next video bye